So, are you ready to mingle with the doomed house guests? The contract is waiting. Do you like parties? Because you've been invited to one. Of course, you'll be killing all the other guests. Are you ready to attend? Splendid. You need to go to the city of Skingrad, to the large house known as Summit Mist Manor. There, you will meet up with five very unlucky guests. In order to receive your bonus, you must kill each guest secretly, one by one. If anyone sees you committing murder, the bonus is forfeit. The guests believe there is a chest of gold hidden in the house, and have agreed to be locked inside until one of them finds it. In fact, the guests believe the key to the manor is inside the chest, and only by satisfying their greed will they be allowed to leave. Poor fools. There is, of course, no chest of gold. The guests will find no key. After you arrive, the doors will be locked behind you, as everyone expects. When all the guests lie dead, you will be free to leave. Now go. See the doorman at Summit Miss Manor. He will explain the rest. Have fun. Go now, dear family member, and may the mother wrap you in her cold, loving embrace. You again. I thought I made it clear I'm not looking for a friend. You are like a dark gift. Ah, dear friend. This... Remember the pretenses under which the guests are there. They will be suspicious. You must be as effective an actor as you are a killer. It would be a good idea to talk to each guest and appeal to their good disposition. Remember, if they really like you, they may open up to you. You should dress appropriately. The Deceiver's Finery, your recent quest reward, would serve this purpose nicely. If you earned it, that is. May you walk off. Well met. The key to successfully completing this contract is effectively blending in with the other guests. So, for Sithis' sake, do not wear your hood. Spill some blood for me, dear brother. So, the last guest finally arrives. I'll tell you what I told all the others. You go in, I lock the door. You don't come out until it's over. Now I'll tell you what I didn't tell everyone else. We have the same mother, you and I. And she wants you to have this. It's the key to the house. I guess someone else has already told you the other details. Kill all the guests, then leave, right? Well, you better get in there. Time to mingle. Go, go, socialize, talk. The sixth guest has finally arrived. Well, it's about time. Do you know how long we've been waiting? It seems like an age. Whoever invited us here must at least know us, don't you think? In any event, we're all stuck here together, so we might as well get acquainted. The rest of us have already traded introductions. I'm Matilda Petit. The others are Nels the Naughty, Neville, Devizi Dran, and Primo Antonius. 
Now, who might you be? Please, tell us a little bit about yourself. Oh, you poor dear. Well, this does make things difficult for me. I want to find the gold as much as anyone, but you need it so much more than I do. See? Was that hard? Personally, I think she's a little floozy. She's been eyeing young Primo Antonius, probably smells his wealth. That's right, it's a Breton name. I'll have you know the Petites are one of High Rock's oldest and most respected noble families. Oh, that man disgusts me. I find his entire manner offensive. Why, just before you got here, he told me the most off-color joke about an Argonian maid. Well, if I can be perfectly honest with you, I find Neville quite attractive. Red guards are so exotic, don't you think? It's obvious that young Primo comes from wealth. A chest full of gold would be mere spending change for him. I have a good idea where I that chest might be. So, you finally showed up. It's about time. People of my station are not accustomed to waiting. Oh, thank you. How kind. Can I be honest with you, my friend? I find Dovisi captivating. She possesses a beauty beyond compare. Maybe you could do me a favor. If you speak with her, put in a good word for me, would you? I would be forever in your debt. All right, Hello then. there. Hello, I'm Dovesi. I'm very pleased to meet you. Now that you're here, we can really start looking for that chest of gold. What I mean to say is, before you arrive, we all just sort of glanced around a bit. Now that we're all officially here, we can look in earnest. Thank you. How kind. It's pretty obvious that Primo comes from a wealthy family. He would never be interested in a girl like me, I'm afraid. He? He did? Oh my goodness, what should I do? Should I talk to him? Or maybe play hard to get? Or should I, you know? Or would that be too formal? Oh, you think so? I mean, it is rather forward, but I like it. All right then, I'll wait for him in his room upstairs. Oh, thank you, thank you. I have a good idea where that chest might be. That gold is as good as mine. So, Nord. where I should look. I don't want to break anything, but the chest of gold could be hidden anywhere. Someone's been murdered. By Ismir's beard. I need a drink. Thank you, Haokai. I really have to wonder where Neville was when someone was getting slaughtered just a few rooms away. Maybe he was busy looking for the chest of gold. Or maybe he was right next to the victim with his hand on the hilt of a dagger. Think about it. Whoever the killer is will have to be strong and quick. Now, I'm not saying Primo is our murderer, but you have to admit it's at least possible. 
It seems she's upset about the murder, but there's something else. It's almost like she's glad there's less competition for the gold. Greedy old bat. No, no. When I looked into Davisi's face, it was like peering at my own daughter. I... I feel like I've lost her all over again. You'd be smart to stay with the rest of it. It's just not safe to go wandering off alone with a kid. I'm beginning to get a bad feeling about all of this. I'd leave right now if I could. Well, the money means nothing to me. I just thought it would be fun. Who? Who among us is vile enough to take the life of such a beautiful, precious creature? If I find out who did this, they will pay with their life! Now that someone's been killed, Matilda may be a little frightened for her own safety, but she's still more concerned with finding the hidden gold. Matilda claims to be from one of the High Rock's most distinguished noble families, but I have a feeling their fortune has long been squandered. Before the body turned up, I got the sense that Nels was a bit of a drunkard. But he seems truly unnerved now and is drinking rather excessively. It's a regal name from a rather regal family. Neville seems different now that someone has been killed. More alert, more aware. Something tells me he's not going to take all of this lying down. He's a trained soldier after all. I bet if anyone can figure out what's going on here, it will be him. You'd be smart to stay with the rest of the group. It's just not... I haven't seen death like this in a long, long time. It's a bit more than my nerves can handle, I'm afraid. I plan to gather up every drop of drink in this house and keep it to myself. If things get any worse around here, I find comfort there, you see. I'll be honest, friend. I don't know what to think about Matilda. Yeah, she seems frightened, but she's also still alive. Why wasn't she killed? She may look old and weak, but that's never stopped a murderer before, has it? Don't doubt for a second that she couldn't be the killer. Let me ask you something, friend. Why is Primo even here? The rest of us need the money, but his family is wealthy beyond measure. Maybe he was bored, or maybe he just wanted to do some slumming. Or maybe he's a trained assassin, hired to kill us all, one by one. Sound crazy? Well, these are crazy times, my friend. You want to know how I really feel about Neville's death? I'm afraid. I may hate the Imperial Legion, but its members are trained warriors. Neville was probably the most capable fighter among us, yet he was cut down silently, just a few rooms away. I fear one of us is not who they appear. This isn't the work of some greedy house guest. There's an assassin among us. You mark my words. We must watch ourselves at every step. Don't go far. It's too dangerous to go wandering around this house. Two of us. I've been trying to figure out who our host might be. With two people dead, it almost seems like he set this party up just to kill us all. One less dark elf in the world. And now there's one less person to find the gold as well. It's a good day, don't you think? Two people dead, yet Nell still lives. I don't think that's a coincidence. Nords are savages born to kill. I just know he did it. Why would one of us kill Neville? What if they try to get the rest of us? You'll protect me, won't you? If I may confide in you, dear friend, 
I'm very worried about the poor boy. The trauma of murders, it could scar him for life. He deserves better. Stay safe, if that's even possible. have been murdered. One of us is a killer, but who? Two of us have been murdered. One of us is a killer. But who? I certainly don't want to be the third victim. It's you, sweetie. Please don't wander too far away. I feel safe with you. So, Nels is dead. I don't condone murder, of course, but I can't say he'll be missed. As a rule, I find Nords rather... vulgar. Oh, my heavens. Primo must be the killer. I... I never thought it could be him. Please, please. You've got to protect me from him. Where are you going? What are you doing? We need to keep our eyes on each other. Dear friend, three of the guests have been killed. You and I, we must stay close. Band together for mutual protection. This is insane. We're being hunted down one by one. Must be a way out of this madhouse. So many people dead. I just don't know who to trust anymore. I... I don't understand. You're the only one left. Why weren't you killed? No. No, it can't be. Ha!
partnered. Well done. Not only did you kill the five guests, you acted as an agent of terror and grief. You have earned your reward and bonus, assassin. I lay upon you now the Night Mother's blessing. May she walk with you always and guide your hand as you act in accordance with the five tenets.